Hello everyone, I hope you're well. I wanted to create this video for students who are studying the BTEC Applied Science course. As you probably know, there are four externally assessed units on the BTEC programme, and one of the units you'll look at is Unit 7, which is called Contemporary Issues and Science. This unit carries 120 points, so it's pretty crucial you perform well in this unit, as it might make a big difference to your final grade. I wanted to give you an overview of what you will learn in Unit 7. Essentially, you're looking at the recent developments in science and how they impact the world around us. The types of areas we study closely are things like medical treatments, so looking at the use of prosthetics and various cancer treatments such as proton beam therapy. We also look at sustainable use of fuel sources, a bit like geography when you learn about renewable and non-renewable sources of energy and some of their benefits and drawbacks. I usually closely follow the developments in the pharmaceutical world where we get an understanding of things like performance enhancing drugs as well as chemicals created for industry, so things like the use of pesticides and insecticides and how that affects the world around us. Another topic we look at is nanotechnology, which is another innovative area of study where we learn about how space materials are developed using nanotechnology. And finally, we learn a bit about genetic engineering of food products as well as medicine. Essentially, what we're looking at is exploring these topic areas and what the implications are on the world around us. The implications could be social, ethical, environmental or economical, and the students are required to write essay-based answers on the topics given. The next thing I suppose you need to understand is how you'll be assessed on the units. It is a bit like an English exam in that you're given three articles two weeks before the supervised assessment session, that is two weeks before the day of your exam. Remember these are national exams so everyone who takes this qualification will sit the exam on the same day. The articles you're given will be sourced from newspapers, blogs, journals or books and you'll be required to spend no more than six hours in timetabled lessons to read the articles and prepare written, written support to help with the assessment. In this time you will analyse and interpret each article carefully and make a plan which you will be allowed to take into the exam. This will help you answer the exam questions. The exam itself is two and a half hours long and there are a total of 50 marks to attain. You might be thinking, yeah, this is a bit like an English exam. Well, it kind of is, even to the point where the exam questions are phrased exactly the same each year. The only thing that differs every year is the topic detailed in the articles. So there is some degree of predictability to this exam. As I've taught this unit for a number of years, I've gathered some interesting data about the results and my students usually find it helpful to understand the data. This particular table shows you um, the details of the academic year and the number of marks needed to achieve a pass, merit or a distinction. You can see in 2017 to 18 you needed 34 marks to achieve a distinction and in 2019 to 20 you needed 36. I expect this upward trend will continue and that in the next academic year you will most likely need around 37 marks to achieve a distinction. Essentially, you need to achieve above 70% in the exam to achieve a higher mark of a distinction. This is a high percentage, but not completely unachievable, especially if you follow the instructions set by your teacher. You will see that there is also the end grade for the exam. I won't talk about this right now because I have a whole other video on understanding BTEC grading, which you can watch when you're free. In the spirit of transparency, I thought you might find it useful to see the stats I have personally achieved on these units. I've taught it for three years and my students usually sit the exam in June, so they don't actually get a chance to resit. They sit it in their second year. These tables show the results of numbers of students who achieved those particular grades. So if you look at the table on the left hand side of the screen, you will see that in 2018, eight students achieved a distinction, 28 got a merit and 24 got a pass. In the academic year of 2019, which is shown on the table on the right of the screen, I had 13 students achieve a distinction, 26 achieve a merit. In the academic year of 2019 and 20, my students had their first sit in January in a bid to allow them to resit the exam in June if they needed to, but of course because of COVID-19 they didn't get a chance to resit. So the table below that GIF that you see shows you the 2020 um, sit in January. I had five students achieve a distinction and 22 achieve a merit and 24 achieve a pass. Overall, year on year, things have gotten better. I think the students are getting better. So personally, I think this is something to celebrate. 
And actually, I'm super proud of the resources that I've created and deliver on a yearly basis. My plan is to have all classroom-based lessons, a whole heap of exam practice and activities shared on this YouTube channel so I can reach as many students who might need help. There are no other channels on YouTube that share this information about Unit 7 on the BTEC Applied Science course, so I would absolutely love it if you could subscribe and like my videos to show your support. And in return, I hope you can learn something useful that helps you with achieving your very best in this exam. Thanks so much for watching everyone and look out for more videos a bit like this on this unit. Thank you!